Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing this makeup look for you guys and I know that Memorial Day is coming up and it's Memorial Day weekend. So I am just doing this makeup tutorial for you guys to see if you some makeup ideas just in case you wanted to do your makeup, you know, in like a red, white or blue. Then I decided to come up with this and I just did a blue smoky eye with a red lip. So I know that I had my 5,000 subscriber giveaway and a winner was picked and I'll leave her name um, right here on the screen and she was already contacted. So yeah, thanks everybody so much for entering my giveaway and don't be discouraged if you didn't win because my next video I will be hosting another giveaway and it is an eyeshadow palette that I'll be doing a review on and I'm just going to give away one of those palettes as well. So be sure to tune in for the next video and enter for your chance to win that palette. So with that being said, if you guys are interested in seeing how I created this look, then just keep on watching. Oh, and don't forget that all products that I use in this video are always listed in the, descri in the description box down below, just in case you're interested in what a particular product is, but I try to mention every single product in the video, you know, as I use them. So yeah, without further ado, if you guys are interested in seeing how I created this look, then keep on watching. Alright guys, so I'm starting out with my brows already done and now I'm going to moisturize my face and I'm going to be using the Patchology Aqua Flash Daily Gel Moisturizer. And if you have dry skin, oh my god, well if you, it just, this is for any skin type, but especially dry skin, I love to use gel moisturizers because they like, they're so hydrating and this gel moisturizer is like it's really nice so the company was nice enough to gift me the moisturizer to try out for you guys and of course you know I've tried so many patchology products out on my on my channel before and I absolutely love the brand so now I'm just priming my eyes with my makeup revolution concealer in the shade C11 And then I'm just going to set that in place with my Rimmel London Stay Matte Press Powder in the shade Transparent. Alright, now so many people wanted me to get my hands on this palette. A lot of people were asking me about this palette. So I finally went ahead and got my hands on it. And it is the Box of Crayons palette. I'm going to take the shade Tan and I'm going to use that as my transition color. Now if you guys want a separate video on this palette, just let me know. Like if you want swatches and just a dedicated look, just a dedicated video to this palette, just let me know. Because I do plan on doing more looks with this palette because I didn't use it as much as I wanted to in this video. So next I'm going to go into my Morphe 35B palette. And I'm just going to go into that light blue. And we're going to pop this right over that transition color. Alright, next up I'm going to go into a deeper blue shade and I'm just going to use this directly in the crease and that's just to define that crease a little more. Alright, next up I'm going back into that palette and I'm just using that shade tan just to soften up those edges. And then I've been seeing this thing all over Instagram and I know you guys have been seeing it. It's like that little stamp thing that's supposed to give you the perfect cut crease. So I went ahead and ordered it and I'm trying it out for the first time today. So I'm just putting some concealer um, on one side because I'm, I'm trying to do a half cut crease. And then I'm just going to stamp it on my eye. All 
which clearly didn't turn out to work that great um, I'm going to try to fix it off camera all right so after I fixed that one I kind of figured maybe I didn't use enough concealer so I put a little more concealer on and I'm going to try and stamp the other eye I mean and that one did pretty good but it just it cut it up way too high so apparently I need a lot more practice with this thing so I'm going to try to fix that crease um, off camera <laughs> alright so now I kind of fixed my crease off camera I'm go going to go into that really deep blue and I'm going to use this to smoke out the outer V All right, next up, going back in, into that palette, I'm gonna take the shade blue, I think, and it's just is a really pretty um, blue shade. It's a sparkly shade. And I'm going to pack this all over my lid. I did with my brush. And as you can see, the color is really intense. It's a really nice palette. Alright, now I'm going into that cream shade in my Morphe 35B palette. I'm just going to use this to um, set my brow bone highlight. And then I'm just going to use the same brush that I used to apply my transition color to blend that out to make sure there are no harsh edges. Next up, I'm going to go in with my favorite eyeliner, um, and it is my Stila Liquid Eyeliner in the shade Black. I think it's Intense Black, and I am going to give myself a wing. Alright, next up I'm going to use the Ardell Faux Mink Lashes in, the, in Demi Wispies. And then I'm going to be moving on to my primer. And I'm going to be using the Becca First Light Priming Filter. And this primer is supposed to um, brighten the luster lack and dull skin. And intensify, I mean, and instantly refresh the complexion. It feels so good on the skin and it gets tacky. And as you can see, it leaves like this really pretty like pearl look to your face like it, it does give you like a really nice glow to your skin now the company was nice enough to send this to me to try out for you guys and I absolutely love it it makes a awesome base for your foundation um, and it when it gets tacky and it doesn't take that long to get tacky next up I'm going to be using the Beauty Bakery I'm sorry cake mix foundation and I ordered the shade 15 and the company was so nice to give me the shade 17 so this is 15 that I'm putting on this side of my face and this is 17 which I love the yellow in 15 but I love how I like the color better um, in 17 so I'm just mixing the two And then I'm just going to take a Sedona Lace Kabuki brush and I'm going to blend that out. Now I did feel like the brush made this foundation look kind of streaky. So I did go back over it with my Beauty Blender. But this um, foundation does dry down to a matte finish. So if you have 
oily skin, you will absolutely love this foundation. If you have dry skin, then you will definitely have to prep your skin before wearing this foundation. And it dries down really fast, so you have to make sure if you put it all over your face first, you work really quickly with it. Or apply it, you know, like one section at a time. And then I'm just going back over with the Beauty Blender to make sure there are no streaks. Next up, I'm going to be using my Laura Mercier Concealer. Um, and I think I have the shade 9N, which is the second shade from, from the last. So, yeah, I got not the deepest shade, but the shade right before that. And I'm going to use this to highlight. Now I do feel like this is like a little close to my skin tone because when I blend it in you can barely tell that I have on concealer. So I'm going to add my Becca concealer on the top of that. And it is the Under Eye Brightening Corrector. And this is a corrector and it is like so bright. So I use this corrector to, um, to brighten up the concealer underneath my eyes. And then I just added some to the other parts of my face that I highlighted also. And this concealer is really, really creamy. I really love it. So it's supposed to brighten and correct. And this came with the Becca First Light Priming Filter. So thank you so much to Becca for sending me these products to try out for you guys. All right, next up to set that in place, I'm going to be using my Beauty Bakery Flower Powder. I think that's what it's called. And I have the shade Yellow. And I'm just going to use this to set all of my highlighted areas. Alright, next up to add a little color back to my face, I'm going to be using my Anastasia Bronzer in the shade Mahogany. Alright, next up to chisel up my cheeks a little more, I'm going to be using my Black Up Contour Powder in the shade number 5. And then I'm just going to use that same Black Up Powder and I'm just going to pinch my brush and I'm going to use that to contour my nose. Alright, next up to set my entire face, I'm going to be using my Sephora Micro Smooth Powder in the shade Mahogany. And next up I'm going to finish off with my eyes and I'm just using my Maybelline Black Eyeliner. And then I'm just going to pretty much repeat the same steps on the bottom that I did in the crease. Which I kind of wish I would have just stuck with just this one color underneath because I kind of feel like I went a little crazy with the blue underneath the eyes. But it's okay. If you don't want the blue to be, you know, this, this prominent, you can just, you know, tone down the blue and just only use one because I use like all three blues that I used in the crease. Alright, next up I'm going to take the shade White from that palette, which is just like a shimmery, icy white. It's so pretty, and I'm going to use this to add in the inner tear duct.
Alright, next up I'm going to be using my Becca blush in the shade Exhibit A. And this is just a red blush. And it is super pigmented, so I'm going in with a really, really light hand because I don't want to overdo it. And then I'm going to be using the Shayla Times ColourPop Highlighters because I wanted to use something out of this collection. I did get the entire collection when it came out. And I'll do a separate video on that, but I'm just going to use the highlighters for today. And I'm using the lighter um, highlighter out of all the shade, out of both shades, which is booming. All right, then I'm just going to spray my face with some Fix Plus just to take away that cakey look and then I'm going to move on to the lips. So I'm, moving, I'm using my Kylie Lip Liner in the shade Mary. And then I'm going to be using my Fenty Beauty um, Stunner Liquid Lipstick to fill in the rest of my lips. And then I'm going to set the rest of my face with my Milani Make It Dewy Setting Spray. And that completes the look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos from me. Don't forget that when my channel reaches 10,000 subscribers, I will be having my next big giveaway. So don't forget to subscribe for your chance to win. Until the next video.